Welcome back to the next lesson in our geometry series here and let's just start here's an idea without a protractor could you draw a 90 degree angle a perfect 93 angle how about a 45 degree angle could you do that without a protractor or even a 30 135 degree angle so this is gonna be a really quick lesson we're just going to talk about how to draw an angle. So we've spent some time measuring an angle that's been given to us, but what if I asked you to draw, given with the degrees that I've given you, could you actually draw that? And so what do we do? Well, the first thing that we need to do is draw a line. Once we draw our line, we take our protractor and we take the target and make sure it's at the end of the line we just drew. So I'm gonna get line that up right about there. And I asked you to draw 145. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my pencil and I'm gonna look for 145. Well, I'm gonna be using the, the outside track this time because I'm starting at zero, first of all, and it is an obtuse angle. So I'm gonna make a mark right about there. Okay, I know it's not perfect with my marker, but, um, and then I'm gonna remove my protractor out of the way for a sec. And then I can I can line up from the, from the point there and go through my mark that I made. And there I have my 145 degree angle. Now it's always good to double check. So I'll bring my protractor back in here and line her up and it's yeah it's i mean it's technically at 146 but that's because my marker is not entirely accurate on this screen and and i've done a good job there well what if i asked you to measure well, draw me an angle that measures 280 degrees now with our, our standard protractor we don't have a full circle so remember in the last lesson we had 360 degrees in a full circle and if i have 280 i know that it has to add to something to equal that 360. Well, if I do subtract 280, I should get that measurement. And zero minus zero, zero. Uh, I can't do six minus eight, so I'm gonna borrow here. 16 minus eight is 80, two minus two is zero. So I need to draw an 80 degree angle. So remember that um, we start with drawing a, a line and I'm just going to use my ruler and go like that. Okay, I'm gonna go the opposite way than I did the last time just to, just to be different. All right, I'm gonna get my protractor in here and because I'm going to be different here, I'm gonna line her up on this side and I'm looking for an 80 degree angle. Maybe I'll use a red pen this time. Uh, there is my 80 right there. Okay, I'm gonna move the protractor out of the way. I'm going to get my ruler back out and I'm going to go right through there. It's close enough. And that inside should be 280, right? No, it's not. Remember, we're measuring a reflex angle. So what I it's important that I do indicate that it's a reflex angle by making that little circle indicating that we're measuring the outside. Now, again, it's, it's a good idea to make sure that I did do this correctly. So there's my 80 and that seems to have worked. I have created a reflex angle of 280 degrees. So that's really it, just drawing. First step, draw an arm with our ruler. Next step, move the protractor into place, make a little mark on the degrees, remove the protractor, and then draw the second arm using a ruler. And that's it. So again, remember in life, math happens. Take care, guys.